Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Synthmaster 2 and I don't know, uh, a lot of people may not know but Synthmaster 2 can also be used to play your own samples so you can build instruments using your own samples, that's what we're going to do today. It's very very cool and it's very powerful so I've just started here with uh, an, an init preset. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do, well, I'm going to switch my filter on for the start off. Um, first thing I'm going to do is where it says Sawtooth here, I'm just going to tap on that there and I'm going to go Import Wave Files. Okay, so we can click on here and we we'll get taken to our iPad or wherever. I'm going to go to my hard drive here, my T7. So you can access these from anywhere you like, Any, any you've got your hard drives plugged in or what have you. I'm going to scroll down till I find TC Instruments. Where are they here? A bit further down. There we go. TC Instruments. And these are Cymatics Instruments that you can get from their website. I'm going to click on Instruments here. So you can import any WAV file, by the way, you like. So I'm going to start with looking at a uh, Santor here. Now, uh, a lot of you may know that you can't if you tap on this it's just going to give you the option to open it and maybe you want to preview it and you do there is a way to preview it in 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 this kind of um situation so what you do if you want to hear the sound before you import it which is always handy long hold and where it says quick look tap on this and then just sample the instrument okay now here's another tip as well i'm going to click on this and import it i'm going to just go to open it make sure that any instruments where it says user just put import make sure that any instruments that you use are mapped to c if it's a melodic instrument this will save you a ton of time remapping stuff to suit so here's our instrument now so we definitely need to make some adjustments to our ADSR here, so our ADSR1, which will be automatically mapped to our velocity and keys. So I'm going to change the type to OB because I like that. So just sort that out as well. Very nice. It already sounds great. It's it's a sampled sa sa uh, Santor. And it'll map across the keyboard, of course. Lovely. So let's add another one in. So let's turn oscillator one off and oscillator two. Now, don't forget here, you have two layers, two independent layers. So in effect, you could have a four sample layer and then you can choose the keyboard zone, etc. if you want to. So here is a basic sort again. I'm gonna turn the volume down for the entire layer a little bit. I'm going to click on here. Now, don't forget, we're using layer one, which is going to share the ADSR, the filter, etc., the effects. But if you wanted to have it on a completely different layer and have different ADSR, different effects, you can use layer two. First of all, I'm going to click on here again. I'm going to go import wave files. I'm going to go back to my T7 here, go down to my folder where I want to grab my samples from tap on here tap on the instruments there's a there's a folder full of synth sounds as well but I'm going to use instruments and you see I've got harps cellos glockenspiels chimes maybe a glockenspiel let's tap on this again I am going to long hold just to audition the sample in this view so okay that'll do I'm going to tap on this I'm going to open it here and now this is going to open this into just import into oscillator two. Now that's a little bit quiet and I can pull up the volume of this in the layer, but don't forget. We want to keep a balance because we're on a layer. So what we can do to increase the volume very easily, we can either use this, but we don't want to. Let's just increase the voice counts from one to three and now we've got more volume <clears throat> and we can reduce the volume on that as well we can also pan the sample so let's pan this one a little bit that way 
And let's go back to our oscillator one and pan that one. Let's go back to oscillator and pan that one a little tiny bit that way. So we'll get a little tiny bit of voice spread. Now you'll see voices one, but I'm going to go back to this oscillator now, switch this one off, turn it on and go to voices now. And now I can kind of spread the detune out. So. And then pan spread it as well. And now let's see what they sound like together. I'm gonna have a bit more release time on both of those. And I'm going to add some effects. you know, finish playing around with the effects you want, you can then start to make adjustments to the volume. Awesome stuff. And then of course, when you have finished, all you need to do is literally just save your preset. So just tap on save, save preset as, choose the folder you want to save it in. I'm going to save it in mine and just call this um, Santa Patch. And that's a done deal. Save. Sorted. There you go. If you enjoyed the video, strike the like, subscribe to the channel, and consider becoming a patron. And I will see you guys later.